Hello my people, my name is Meacham. Welcome to the SCORE channel. Today we're covering one of the biggest international universities in all of Spain. <laughs> University. As always, we sit down with one of the international admissions counselors. Say hello to Cora Morrison. Hi, uh, my name is Cora Morrison and I'm an associate director at IE University. Thanks so much for inviting me and I'm looking forward to sharing a little bit more about IE today. In the past, IE was known by its full name in Spanish, Instituto de Empresa. That's Institute of Enterprise for my Anglophone friends. Now they've got a lot of different business programs, including dual degrees, but that's not all. We have areas such as business and management, a bachelor in law, design, architecture, economics, international affairs, communication and digital media, behavior and social sciences, and also programs in data and business analytics and computer science and artificial intelligence. IE is one of the most international universities you'll ever find. They have partnerships with over 200 universities in 50 different countries. My personal favorite is the International Relations Program. If you love Model United Nations, MUN, the way I do, you're going to love this. The United Nations System Staff College is an institution that actually teaches people how to work in UN agencies. That same college designed the International Affairs Program for IE. You actually get to work hand in hand with UN agencies. But they've got other partnerships too, like this one. For example, in the US, we have a partnership with Northwestern University. So students can actually study three years of law, get their bachelor in law from IE, and then they can go on to Northwestern University for two years to get their JD. Law. That's a big deal because when you study law, typically you end up practicing law in the same place that you learned it. IE gives you the flexibility to decide where you want to work. And you're going to be ready for work because they give you a ton of hands-on experiential learning. So whether that's in group work, competitions locally or globally, mentoring, internships, or using new technologies as some examples, students can even create and develop their own business idea in our startup lab. I can't really tell you anything about Spain because I've never been there, but Cora has. Spain is an amazing country to live and study. In. And I personally lived in Madrid for six years and I absolutely loved it. You know, I love the food, the architecture, the historic places, and of course the culture and the people. IE has two different campuses, one in Madrid and one in Segovia, and they could not be more opposite. You can study in the middle of a downtown business district in the heart of the city in their brand new skyscraper. This 36 floor, 180 meter masterpiece was just recently constructed and is about to be inaugurated next month. It's packed with modern classrooms, laboratories, and lots of open spaces for people to hang out. But maybe you want a more relaxed study experience. Then check out the Segovia campus. It originally was started in 1218 and now it's our beautiful campus. It's been updated with new technologies and comfortable spaces while still maintaining the beautiful architecture. The building was actually declared a national heritage site in 1913. IE lets you study in both campuses. So you could do a year in Madrid and then do a year in Segovia and then do another year in Madrid. In either case, you're still gonna have to figure out a place to stay. It's not mandatory to stay in a student residence. There are different residences that are very near the campuses. We also have a list on our website. Yo, one of those student residence halls has a swimming pool on the roof. They can also help you find an apartment nearby if you're looking for something on your own, or they can even put you in touch with families that are open to homestay options if you really want to get immersed in the culture. 75% of the students in IE are from other countries, so the university understands that it's important to give you lots of activities for you to meet new people. Sports are definitely very popular. I'm sure you can imagine the most popular sport is football, but also we have teams in volleyball, rugby, horseback riding, and it's it's actually kind of funny, but we even have a cheerleading squad <laughs> at IE. So if you've always dreamed about being a cheerleader like me, here's your chance. So with great facilities, awesome programs, and a ton of other cool things for you to do, there's a lot of demand for admission at IE. What kind of student do they want to admit? Overall, we're looking for well-rounded candidates from all around the world. We have over 100 nationalities on campus. We also look for students who are high achievers, both academically and outside the classroom. And we also look for something that we call an entrepreneurial spirit. So we want to see that you're able to take in new ideas and adapt to whatever the classroom demands, basically, because 
because we think that that also will translate to being able to excel in the job market afterwards. Another way that IE helps people to apply to the university is by having all these different offices around the world. They actually have more than 30 offices, including one in Lima, which is how we got in touch in the first place. I know a lot of people in India are watching this video too. There's an office in Mumbai just for you. These offices can help you understand more about the programs and help you make your application. Fortunately, the application is a lot easier than some of the other universities in Spain. In fact, they don't even require English exams by default. Even though all of the programs are taught fully in English, your application will be assessed based on your essay and also on any interviews that they might ask you to do. Now, because it's a private university, it does charge more than the average public school would for tuition. However, IE has a ton of different scholarships. You're allowed to choose three scholarships and you'll be rewarded the largest of the three that you qualify for. Each application is reviewed in a very holistic and very personalized way. Usually in the application process, what we look for is an essay, why you're applying for the scholarship, you know, highlight what makes you unique, why you deserve the scholarship. If you have any information about how much that you think that you will need, highlight it plainly there too. And one scholarship, the IE Collaborator Award, so they work in a department within IE University, it might be in the marketing department or the admissions department, doing something that you can put on your resume. So when should you have your application ready? We have rolling admissions at IE, so we're accepting applications throughout the year. We've already opened up our applications for September 2022. Definitely looking forward to reviewing your application and hopefully seeing you on campus next fall. Thanks again to Cora for taking the time to talk to us about IE. If you'd like to know more about IE, go to ie.edu or check to see if they have a local office in your country so that you can talk to them directly. We've left links in the description for more information about different programs, scholarships, and admissions. If you'd like to learn more about what it's like to live in Spain and study there, then you should check out the interview I did with Gabriela, who's studying in the University of Navarra. And if you want to learn more about studying in Spain in general, then check out the profile that we did on the country. If you've made it this far and you're still watching this, then we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel because we're going to be covering more universities for you. We've already done an interview with a university in Canada, and we're going to be touring different universities in the United States to get an up-close, in-person look. So stick around. University is just getting started. I'll see you next week.